Good morning everyone and welcome back to a new travel vlog from Norway! <laughs> we have been exploring Norway now for over a week and yesterday we drove all the way from Flum all the way up to here to Stranda in western parts of Norway. It's been a year since I've been to Stranda but it's such a beautiful place and I ran out this morning because the sun was peeking out. You can see the ski resort behind me here. And I want to also show you how much snow it can snow in just one night here in Norway. So take a look at this before I'll show you our cabin. <laughs> my god! Oh my god! Yesterday we kind of shoveled an entire way all the way down to the car, which you can barely see down there. Look at this. So much snow, guys. It's very windy. Can you guys even hear me? Wow. So in this vlog guys, I'm gonna show you what it's like to stay in an authentic large Norwegian cabin in the mountains. Hopefully if the sun clears up today, we'll go some skiing in the resort. If not, it's beautiful to just be stuck inside your cabin. So here in Stranda, we are working with uh, Visit Stranda. They have a beautiful accommodation all over here. A lot of activities and stuff you can do both for summer and winter. So I'll link a couple of resources in the description if this is a destination that you guys are looking to visit. All right guys, it is time for the official cabin tour. This is something I've been looking very much forward to show you. And in many ways, this is my dream type of cabin as it's built with thick logs, as you guys can see. Just like this. And when you warm up your cabin, it gets so warm. Super nice, but enough about that. Also, let me introduce you to the team that I'm traveling with on this trip. Good morning, Ave Good morning. <laughs> this is my fiance, Ave. Hello. Hey, how do you like the cabin? Yeah, it's really nice. It has a nice kitchen. <laughs> Ava is an educated chef by profession, so when she's given a kitchen like this, she s tells me that she relaxes when she's cooking. Uh, for others, it might be like a little hassle, but she's really good at it, so we're very thankful for it. <laughs> so a nice kitchen, big open living area. Here you guys can see my friend Dan from London. He flew all the way here. Hola. Hola, how are you this morning? Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien. Enjoying the view? I'm so happy for you. <laughs> and my uh, amigo, El Watachik. <laughs> How are you? Hola. Working. Working. Yeah, but I can't wait to be done with this. Yes. You can enjoy the house. Yes. You're a very hard worker, Kathy. We'll say more hi to her later. Oh. And then here we have a center fireplace, which we have been using the evenings we've been spending here in this animal fur that's just laid on top of this thing yeah so hunting is also a big part of Norwegian culture and uh, outside here we have a very big porch which uh, you guys can see it's been fully snowed down and probably the crown jewel of this cabin the jacuzzi which me and Dan will have to dig out later and then it's 40 degrees in there super nice and it's enough snow now so we can jump in the snow and go back into the jacuzzi yeah, and on a clear day, this is kind of the view here. We are in Stranda. So beautiful. I really hope we will get a clear night like this, perhaps tonight. And down here, it is uh, one living room with a TV. And you guys won't believe it. In my opinion, it's like they built a very large cabin and then they just built another cabin on top of that cabin. You won't believe how big this cabin is. It has 15 beds four bathrooms, dishwasher. You can basically live here. Look at this. <laughs> this is living room number two. So if you're a big family, perhaps this is where the kids would spend their time. Uh, they have Netflix integrated here, super speed Wi-Fi. It is so luxury. Great so view of the entire valley and ski resort as you guys can barely see down there. All these are cabins for Norwegians and people from abroad. 
So usually in the mountains like this here in Scandinavia, you get a lot of Swedes, Danish, and also Norwegians that travel too. But occasionally I do meet Americans and Germans, perhaps some Filipinos or South Americans, um, Peruvians, who knows if you're watching this. Let me know in the comment section below where you're watching this and if you have ever been to an experience, a cabin like this in the mountains, or if it's something that you wish to do. All right guys, before we continue this video, I have to tell you about the sponsor of this video in my month-to-month -month collaborator, Cuts Clothing. The shirts I'm always wearing in all the video blogs usually are from Cuts. And I wanted to show you a little bit of a different type of t-shirts they have now, because in this video I've been wearing the white one, but they also have, for example, gray. They have the military color, the green one, the black, which is like always a winner, or the more browner one. And what I really love about the t-shirts from Cuts is that it doesn't really matter what type of body shape you have, the shirts will always like stick to your body so that it fits you. And in the vlogs from Norway, I've also been using this Sherpa, which is their brand new, really, really nice fleece and it's been keeping me warm for the entire journey. Personally, I am 174 centimeters tall and I'm a size medium. So if you wanna get 15% off your next Cuts clothing purchase, check out the code SOLHAUGEN right here. And you can use that up on checkout and by doing that, you'll also support me in making sure that you know we can keep this vlog going. So I'd really appreciate it guys. Back to the video. So whenever I go skiing, this is I have a bag just for all my ski gear. It's crazy how much stuff you need from helmets to thermal underwears and thick layers. Because it gets cold out there, as you guys can imagine. But over here is me and Ava's bedroom on the trip. Large king-size double bed. And over here is another king-size double bed that we use just for our luggages. So that's very nice. And you know, you wake up with views like this. Just pure white doubts, snowstorms, super romantic, and then people also have their cabins in the hillsides behind us here. Yeah. And the ski lift is right up here. So this cabin is um, so this cabin is categorized as a ski in, ski out, meaning you can just put on your skis on the porch, shoof, sail out, ski down, take the lift back up, and ski back to the cabin. So if you're ever coming on a winter holiday ski trip, make sure to check if your cabin is a ski in, ski out, as it makes things a lot easier, trust me. And also over here is our bathroom, super nice, very like modern, looks like it's been recently built and yeah, very nice shower, spacious, yeah, appreciate this, I really appreciate this place. We also have a fireplace upstairs, which at night we tend to light up and it gives this very nice warmth to the entire place. These paintings are just unreal. And these are some of the views that you can get if you're skiing here in Stranda, or if you are doing touring, which means you're walking up the mountains and then earning your turns on the way down. Okay, let's continue the tour because there's a lot more things to see. I think we've seen probably like half of the cabin. Yeah, as you guys can see from the beginning of this video, which was five minutes ago, it's already snowing a lot outside. So the weather keeps changing a lot. The hallway is also super sweet, like we can hang all our jackets here, they dry up whenever we go outside. And then over here is the first smaller bedroom, but all the smaller bedrooms also comes with a double bed. And you guys can see, maybe a kid could sleep up there. So this could be a room for three kids or a couple. <laughs> Moving down the hallway, it's like, what's behind this door? Whee! Yeah, this is probably the men's room. The room the men goes to after breakfast to make sure, you know, you can imagine yourself. And then Katy and Dan is staying over here. These are, this is their private quarters. And then they have their private bathroom. And what's super nice about this bathroom is that it always, is that it also has a dishwasher. And then over here are two other bedrooms, which I'm just gonna briefly show you. So I think Katy is keeping her clothing over here, but it's another bunk bed. And then here you have the last one, which is where Dan is keeping his clothing. Another double bunk bed with a bed on top. So there you go, 15 beds, two living rooms, large dining room, kitchen. Comes fully equipped, so when you're renting it, you really don't have to think about anything. We also bought a lot of stuff on the grocery store before we drove up to the mountains. So in case we get snowed in, we won't have to go again. 
And to my surprise, they also have whiskey glasses, which is something you just need to have when you're on a, a mountain trip like this. So there you have the full tour of the whole cabin, which we're gonna stay in here in Strana for three nights. In the remaining of this video blog, I'm going to show you what it's like to jump in a jacuzzi, the things we get into here on the mountain. It's, it's very, I would say, intimate. We're also gonna, I'm also going to show you some Norwegian board games that we always play when we are on the mountains as Norwegians. I have it. Look at this uh, lunch that Ava has cooked up for us. Crazy! Yes. Oh my god! Long winter storm, guys. Now I'm gonna do something that I've been looking forward to actually. I'm gonna dig out the jacuzzi. So we can jump in there and have a swim later. We also need to probably dig out the car because it's so much snow. <laughs> Welcome to Norway. <laughs> you guys, when we arrived three days ago, there was no snow on the porch. And I just had to dig a channel just to get to the jacuzzi. So I dug all the way here. And now we're gonna dig out the jacuzzi. Oh my god, you guys! <laughs> Good job, Dan! Not bad at all. Crazy much snow in Stamma. We are getting there. And this is what the finished dug in out sauna sorry jacuzzi looks like 40 degrees in the water let's see if the bubbles work oh yeah baby <laughs> so here you can picture yourself friends family maybe a loved one with this gorgeous view the englishman has figured it out let's see it wow so dan's gonna be the first guy to try gets in <laughs> Lovely! So warm. Oh. What a life! Wow, this is amazing! I'm just gonna change and I'll be right with you. Oh. See you in a few. <laughs> See you in a few. While me and Dan have been digging out, the girls are preparing s'mores, and we also need some bubbles. Wow! So it is champagne and s'mores time! <laughs> I'll invite the others. Oh. Becoming a true Norwegian. Wow. wow. All right, girl. Okay, welcome to Norway. Amigos Am in Norway. <laughs> oh, <let's go. laughs> wow. Couldn't have thought of a better way to celebrate uh, this, this uh, nice. Norwegian this nice. holiday with my friends here. My god, we got so lucky with the weather today. Look at the valley. And then over here, friends in the jacuzzi. Been jumping out, swimming in the snow. How is it, guys? Scale of 1 to 10. 10! Yeah! Okay, guys, after spending about two hours in the jacuzzi, which was brilliant, by the way. We are gonna drive down to the center of Stranda. It's about 15 minute drive due to a snowstorm. But to get there, I have to dig out the car. <laughs> I'll take you through that process. And then when I, the, in Norway, we have a little policy that you can't buy liquor anywhere. So it's only allowed to buy it at a certain store called the Wine Monopoly. And that closes around 5 p.m., which is in one hour. So I'm praying that we'll make it in town by the time before it closes. So I'll keep you updated on this little journey. Hope you guys are enjoying the vlog so far. 
Let's go. So guys, after about 15 minutes of digging a path down from the cabin, around the car, <laughs> I finally turned it on. So now it's just gonna heat itself up and we're gonna use a broom to get rid of the snow on top of it. And then we're ready to drive down to town. It's a love and hate relationship. It's so beautiful. At the same time, it's quite the challenge to live in Norway. Pretty sketchy now. Like we're doing brake tests to see. Let's do a brake test. So it's like you can't really completely brake. So if someone is driving and you just have to stop, you just have to take it into the snow. Yeah. It's the only way to do it. <laughs> Look at our car, man. It looks like we've been on the North Pole and back. So we just picked up some wine at the Wine Monopoly. And now we're going to the grocery store. Dan, what do you think about the Norwegian supermarket? I'm very excited to try this new beer. Yeah. Mine's very well recommended. Hello, Katty. Tak. <laughs> Tak. <laughs> very good. Wow, it's such Tuck. a local at this point. <laughs> I also like that there's so much beer all in the fridge. Yeah. Usually in the UK, if you've got this much beer, it's not all in the fridge. Right. And then you've got to take it home. I freezer. know. It's still favorite beers. Look at this yeah. guy. So much cold beer. Oh, so beer and cold. Yeah. <laughs> Pizzas. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but me and Dan, we're going to try this favorite. one today. It's my dad's favorite beer. Norwegian Candy Isles. Always a good... Look at this. So much candy. We're, we love our candy. I don't know why. But we're going to find some desserts. Oh, uh, Katty! Ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> ice cream. And, Katty Eskevel. And, Which is the most popular ice cream. So we have here. something called... These uh, are really nice, I think. These are really oh, nice. yeah, damn. Yeah, yeah. So good. Yes. Caramel, crunchy. But hey, this one used to cost one Norwegian kroner. Today it costs 30 Norwegian kroner. That's like inflation. What? But that's why it's called the one kroner ice. No way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is probably the most popular Norwegian ice cream. I'm, I'm gonna make sure I try one of those before I leave Norway. The dime one? Yeah. Oh, let's get one now in the car. Because I've, I've never had a dime ice cream. I've only ever had the chocolate bar, but they're really good. It is wonderful. Wow, oh. Katte, your first grocery shopping in Norway. I know, in the snow. Muy impressivo. I'm a local now. You are. Basically, I hope I, I want to be a local. Me and you can be locals here. We can you live look more local than me. You guys should move here. I've acclimatized. And I could visit you whenever nice I'm in way. Norway. <laughs> we'll give you a key. And uh, back into our uh, snowmobile. Our trusty vehicle. <laughs> it is pretty good, guys. And if you guys are interested in uh, rental cars when you are visiting Norway, then check out the link in the bio. I'm going to link the rental car company we've been using, which is really good, and they also do airport delivery. Sundal Bilutai. Little secret thing, they're becoming one of Norway's biggest rental cars. Company soon. Alright guys, on our way home, we couldn't get up the hill, so now we need to wait for the snow plow to take away all the snow. And uh, that's what it is like to be in Norway. So if you ever find yourself in that situation, just wait, the snow plow will come. Guys, we couldn't get back up the mountain, so we had to stop to get chains on the tires at the local SO store. And the guy working here was so helpful. So he helped me with one tire, and I was able to get the other one going. So let's try to get up the mountain again. Again, and again, and again. Guys, the chains absolutely saved us. We made it back home to Aves Cooking! Hello, welcome home. Hi Aves. Hello. Did I tell you how much I missed you? I missed you too. I missed you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> wow. So That's everybody's great. doing their part? Yes. Yeah, I set up the table. Aves has been decking the table. Here is some wine, <laughs> the reason we actually went down. So I think like that completes the table. Wow, Katya and the Baileys! Oh! Hi here! Look, no. I did my triangle with your slots. Very good, now that you know how to do it. Learned, let's see this, if... This thing that lights on. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. Yeah, yeah, the uh, fire starter. Fire starter. I'm very excited to see if Katya's gonna be able to do this. 
I did have like a small uh, learning process with her earlier. My god. I can't get enough of this cabin. I definitely think I'm gonna be missing this place a lot. The secret sauce is like, use some toilet paper. Only Peruvians know this. Yeah, <laughs> get it going. Inca style. Inca style. No, I'm kidding. Martin, show it to me. Correcto. Where is the, oh, here, the Norwegian blessing? Yes, the gods have been looking over us this entire trip. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Here we go. Now, I, I would have always do, as I also put like a fire starter on top of that. you are Norwegian, you know what I'm looking at. If you're not, we are going to play one of the most famous cabin games of Norway called Yatsi. Oh, ice cream. Gracias, senorita. Tak. Oh, no. Honey, uh, you're welcome. 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 Thank you very much. So I'm going to have a sandwich. So basically, this is all about a luck game, a dice game. And we'll take you through it. Super good. Okay, so it all starts by us... Taking away this for blank sheets. Okay. Three! What? I'll take that. All right, very good. Collecting the trees. Two and a four, so close. No, I've got to do that one again. <laughs> so this is easier than the last one. I'm right? moving down the list, and I don't know who's winning, but Dan is doing really well. No. Now he needs to get three alike. Okay. <gasps> two fives? Yes, save yeah, the two fives. Five. So if I get... Five. I've got two more throws to get five. Exactly. If I get one five, you're then I've done it. you're good. You got fifteen points. You two. Oh, oh so one close. more try! Come on, Daniel. Let's go. Oh! <gasps> get the Esquel. Three, three, three. Come on. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching this video blog from Stranda in Norway. Such an amazing place, relaxing vibe. That cabin is honestly out of this world. And I was so happy that we got to spend such good time there. And you know, all of his great cooking and food really kept us fed throughout the entire journey. So on the next video vlog, I will be going to Oslo. I'm very excited for that. And if you still haven't seen the two first episode of this series, there is one video vlog from After Ski in Hemsdal, where I was teaching Ava and Kathy to ski. And it was just an amazing experience with a lot of good sceneries and mountains and stuff like that. And we also have an episode from Flom, which is more adventure vacation. You can do snowshoe hiking, boat safari, train rides, beautiful location in the fjords all the way down by the ocean and then now on episode three we went to Stranda. So there's a little series here, a little mini series that I would highly recommend you to check out and until I see you on the next video blog, goodbye guys, thank you so much for watching.